Day after day, I'm so confused. What's up, Wilson? So I look for the light in the pouring rain. You know that song? No, I don't know that one. I don't know the rest of the words, but then it goes, so I'm depending on you to carry me through. Oh, give me the beat, boy, to free my soul. I want to get, you don't know that song? Oh, rock and I want to get <laughs> lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Yeah, hey. Give it the beat, boys. Dude, come on, man. You got a vibe with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like a fool here, man. <laughs> That's my jam. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Drift away, Richardson, because today we're going to be drifting away to the smooth tunes of three outdoor, on the go, rugged style. Bluetooth speakers. By the way, of the JBL Flip 6, you see what I did there? <laughs> Flip 6, you got the Sony Outfield 1, and then you got the new kid on the block, the um, the UE Wonderboom 4. Now, in the previous video I did with the Wonderboom, I was so nostalgic about this speaker. Dude, how you still, you still feeling a, a way about it? Like, you still like it? It looks really cool. I love well, it, personally. I really it's, just, it's not only nostalgic, it actually sounds really good. But we were wondering how it sounded compared to its competitors, which we think would be something like this, right? Even though it's a, like traditionally different shape, it's kind of like a, dude, you just want to throw this thing. At <laughs> it's someone. like a baseball. <laughs> yeah, you want to just throw it and play catch with it, but you should not do that. That's not what it's designed for, because if you miss, you're going to have a black eye. Okay, so. Let's do some comparisons here on other things before we get to sound. Where should we start? Battery life, ruggedness, uh, start functions, battery. battery. All right, battery is pretty close on all of them, Wilson. First of all, I need to address the elephant slash puppy in the room. Sir, can I help you? <laughs> it is not time for that right now. Not right now, man. Can you come back later? Dude, I see your little tail back there wiggling. I, but the toy, I can't do it. The, the, the noise, I'm trying to talk here, okay? So just, just chill, I'll be with you momentarily, sir. Now, where was I? Battery life? Battery life. All right, kind of similar, but still different. And the winner, or the, the battery champ in this case is gonna be the Wonder Boom 4 coming in at a whopping 14 hours, or I should say up to 14 hours of battery life. Whereas the Sony Alt Field 1 is coming in at 12 hours of battery life up to 12 hours. And then you got up to 12 hours on this JBL Flip 6, all right? Now, what's the next step? You're uh, supposed to walk me through this, man, because, you know, I'd be losing track, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got that song playing in my head. Oh, give me the beat for the free muscle. Let me get soulful with it. Let me get some raspiness, like, like what is it, Teddy Swims? <laughs> oh, give me the beat for the free <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, man. Teddy don't sound like that, do we? Yeah, I mean... Jelly Roll, that's his name. No, Teddy Swim is the one that does Lose Control. He's got the raspy voice, right? He got a bit Big of a fella? Rap. Yeah. Okay. So I think I put a little bit too much off onto it. I need to add some Michael McDonald into it. A little bit of... <laughs> it's like, Teddy Swim is like Michael McDonald combined with who? You with know a raspy voice? Yeah. I don't know. It's like a Darius Rucker, Michael McDonald combo. <laughs> <laughs> all right back to the music here we go let's do durability all of them i would say it's a dead even tie as far as durability what would you say wilson i agree i mean they, they're they, all ip67 right ip67 all across the board and then you got the build quality on each one of them being pretty much the exact same because we have the silicone and rubber bump stops we have the mesh and then we got this basically silicone. This is hard plastic underneath silicone, I think. Then you got the mesh and then you got hard plastic slash silicone and with the mesh. They all have a lanyard type of carrying or attaching attachment to it. But Sony is the most uh, versatile when it comes to that because while this just has a loop that you can hook a carabiner th uh, through, which I don't mind, it's, it's cool, right? And then you got the Flip 6 coming in with its lanyard. It's just a lanyard you can put on your wrist or bicycle or something like that. But this Sony one, man, you can, once you untie this knot, this thing becomes unstoppable. Right now it's like a purse handle, but then it becomes like a long open loop. You can put it around your neck, wear it like that if you want to, like Flavor Flay. 
whatever you want to do. It's the most versatile as far as carrying. Now, as far as like where to put it and what to do with it, very, very, very cup holder and bottle holder friendly as far as form factor. It can be played vertically if you want to. Uh, what you think, Wilson? You think that's that's a good look for this one? Uh, not for that, for me. You don't think so? Nah. I think it could be played vertically without altering the sound, if that much or if at all. But definitely, without a doubt, is that upside down? Uh, without a doubt, the Sony is designed to play vertically. You actually put on this side, that way you don't interfere with this. And it, it's actually designed to play that way. So that's cool to have. And then the Wonder Boom is just designed with 360 degrees worth of sound. So you don't have to even like face this thing towards you, even though you want to be facing the plus and minus. See that? <laughs> See that right there? Look, if you can't figure out like how to turn the volume up, you should just turn your music off, okay? The music is not in your soul. You know what I'm saying? It's just drift away. That song will be stuck in your head all day. I'm going to have to listen to it on my way. All freaking day. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and you too. That song will be stuck in your head. When, when you're done with this video, make sure you look up the Doobie Brothers. Is it Doobie, Doobie Brothers? Let me look. Oh, God. Let me look. Let me, I think it's Doobie Brothers. I'm pretty sure it's Doobie Brothers. From what we're talking about. Doobie right? Gray, my bad. Doobie Brothers is a whole other group. <laughs> Doobie Gray, my bad. All right. So as far as form factor, man, it really depends on what you're going to do with the speaker. Me personally, I have used all three. I remember this one when I was using it back in the day as the Wonder Boom One. I had a lanyard. Um, it was a, a paracord I attached to it, and then I put a carabiner on it, and I would just strap it to my backpack or down here or something like that. This thing was awesome just to just clip on stuff. But then you know you got these bottle holder size things. This will fit in a bottle holder, but it might stretch that bad boy out. This one just slides right into a golf cart. If that's what you do on four wheeler, whatever you got, this one's a little bit bigger, but it has its versatilities as well. Let's talk about speaker booties, man. That's important. People like interfacing with their Bluetooth speakers. Definitely. Do you interface with your Bluetooth speakers? Do uh, you care about speaker booties at all? I don't use it very often unless I need to just charge, really. So you don't be going back there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't roll that way. <laughs> Just drift away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. On the back side, we don't have a speaker booty, but we do have a USB-C charging out. Okay. You can charge your phone with that or out or in. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. For the Sony, we got a speaker booty, but I think oh, I always mess this up. No, I thought there was a 3.5 millimeter jack in here. It is not. It's just USB-C for charging. And uh, on the Wonder Boom... No, man. Yeah, they cleaned it up as well. There's no US. It's just USB-C. So we're pretty even across the board with these things. Raylan, I'm serious, man. You need to drift away with that toy. Get out of here. Let me see this. Let me see this. Danka. Danka. <laughs> oh, now he don't want to play. <laughs> Anyways, what else should we talk about in regards to these things? Man, we talked about durability, build quality, battery life, I guess. Ooh, apps. We get no app with the Wonder Boom. I feel like you need it and you don't need it because this has two different modes. You remember that, Wilson? Oh, yeah. Where you get the uh, like, like outdoor mode and then podcast mode and regular. And it does sound significantly different on the different modes. But the best mode is, I think, the normal one. That's where you get the most thump out of it and the, and the best vocals. But that 360 degree sound is the star of the show with this one because you don't have to aim it anywhere. You just set it down. Like this is my, like my kitchen. Wilson's in the kitchen and this is my living room. I could sit it right here and there could be people sitting right there at the bar and then I could be in the living room and I don't have to, you know, we're all getting the same quality of music. Whereas if I did that with the Flip 6 or the Sony, only Wilson's gonna be jamming right now. Wilson's gonna be drifting away and I'll be back here just Chilling. Drifting away. <laughs> Drifting away, yeah. <laughs> because I'm not excited from the music. So that's a huge feature for me. But the huge feature of the Sony is not only good quality sound, but you do have a mic in here. And it's a really good quality mic. So just like we've talked about before, I don't know if y'all seen this video yet, but I talked about when you're busy and you need hands-free, if you're in the kitchen, if you're not making meatballs, what are you making? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you even cook, man? I do, but like, I don't really concern myself about answering a call. I just let it ring. 
You just be, dude, if I call you, you ain't gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna let it ring. That's messed up. I'll man. get to you when I'm done. <laughs> Come on, Wilson, man, pick up the phone, bro. It could be important. I could be face down, ass up in a ditch, and you ain't gonna pick up your phone, man. <laughs> dude, I thought we was brothers, man. CMB for life. I just need to know how you get yourself into that circumstance. <laughs> That's why you need to pick up the phone. I'd be like, Wilson, <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> I am face down, ass. <laughs> Bring the speakers. <laughs> Bring the speakers. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, man, you got a speakerphone on this joint, man. So if you're making meatballs or. With your spaghetti or you're cooking up some eggs and bacon, like grilled cheese or something like that, you just kind of, you know, got your stuff on your hand. So you just kind of tap that and you can answer the phone and talk. Whereas the Flip 6 doesn't have that. Neither does the uh, the Wonder Boom. So that's a standout feature. The Flip 6 shines where? So what's the... You don't like JBL, do you? I'm not I'm not a huge fan of JBL. <laughs> What's wrong with JBL? We also bro? did that video about the on speakers and we bought three speakers for the price of that one. Yeah. Or well, not even. That was the charge. Oh, the charge? This is a flip six. This one costs we need to get into that. This one costs one hundred and twenty nine dollars retail. No, that wasn't. That wasn't. The it flip. was the well the flip. I'm we sorry, the charge five cost one seventy nine. Yeah, but when we bought those three Walmart speakers, it was only like 100 107 shows. Yeah, it was still yeah. less than with the price of that. Yeah, that's a tough sell, man. But you got sound quality, though. Yeah, I guess. JBL brings good sound quality. So well, is it personal? Somebody at JBL's headquarters like DM'd you and said, you suck, or what, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you started what? paying me less. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's messed up. Hey, get over here. Come, come, come talk to come talk to me, man. So, Raylan, which one do you prefer? You prefer the JBL, the Sony, or the the UE Wonderboom, or Elmo? You prefer Elmo? I don't know. What What do you guys think? You know what? I know what we'll do. It don't even matter what I think. You guys don't care. All you want to know is, but do they jam no? All right, Wilson, that's it, man. We got to make some decisions, man. I know the people, you guys have already picked your winners, but it's time for me and Wilson to kind of hash this out. So we just listened to all three of them at 50% and roughly 80%. Yeah, just about. So which ones, which two you want to do first? We got to like do it like a, like a bracket almost. Uh, let's start with the Wonder Boom and the Sony. Wonder Boom versus Sony. Is that what we did first? I think so. That's what we did first, yeah. Yeah, you kicked the Sony out. I, I did at higher volumes. Uh, I think the Wonder Boom actually sounds better at higher volumes. Uh, and then just the Sony, the Sony has better bass for sure. Sony yeah. has the best bass out of all three in my opinion. Yeah, I would have to give Sony the bass. Yeah. And when it comes to the, just listening at 50%, Sony, I would say Sony, uh -huh. but something just about listening to it almost at max volume, like 80% or something like that, I think the Wonder Boom is better. I think I still prefer the Sony at louder volumes. I don't feel like it pulls back as much on the bass 
it's, it retains more bass. It still pulls back, but I feel like it retains more bass. So sound quality wise, I have to go with Sony above all three. <sighs> but you got rid of the Sony because of the what? I think uh, it's well. Another thing is also the practicality of the 360, and uh -huh. just the form factor of the Wonder Boom. It's small. It's nimble. That is what's messing me up, man. Because this is 360 degrees, and you can put this thing anywhere. And Wilson actually just showed me you can put this on your shelf at home. And you see these buttons right here? They're they're big and pronounced, right? But since it's 360, you can just <laughs> and, it and it's, now it's this thing just sitting on a shelf and it's still projecting the exact same sound quality. So that's like a, that's a built-in feature. But now we got to move on to, so is this one out? For me. For you it is. For, for me, me. Between them two, yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep on with the Sony, but that's now we got to go here. Now, what do you think? JBL, I've always had a situation with JBL with their highs. I just, I can't do their highs. You don't like them, huh? No, they have great dynamic range. They do give me hearing fatigue. Yeah, okay. A lot of y'all don't know what that is. I saw y'all in the comments. Like, WTF is hearing fatigue. It's when you listen to, like, highs that are just a little bit too damn bright. And over time, you find yourself turning the music down, but you're still annoyed by this time because your ears are fatigued. Did I get it? Yeah, okay. I, I would have to agree. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, you can argue that you can EQ it, but... Uh, and the dynamic range on JBL is great. It's, you know, at lower volumes, it's perfectly fine. But I don't know, just something about the Wonder Boom. You like the Wonder Boom. I like the Wonder Boom. I you just like the Wonder Boom. I like the Wonder Boom too. The Wonder Boom is not the Wonder Boom 2, it's the Wonder Boom 4. Four iterations, and I'm gonna have to say they finally got it right because they finally added USB C. Wasn't nothing really wrong with this speaker. It was just that we were just sick of seeing a USB micro. The That's micro, what it was. Yeah. So USB C has really just turned the speaker around 360 degrees. So for me, in the way of JBL versus the Wonder Boom, I'm gonna go with the Wonder Boom for the same reasons as Wilson. I do think JBL sounds better, but it's only for a few minutes because you're gonna get that listening fatigue, right? And then you'll, you'll, I mean, you can listen to this thing for hours and not get tired, like 14 of them, right? You won't have listening fatigue. And at higher volumes, which one performed that better? I, I wanna say the Wonder Boom. Think the Wonder Boom? I think so. I, I want to say that. I don't remember, to be honest with you. This stuff gets confusing, bro. <laughs> but I will say, I think I'm going to have to kick JBL to the curb. Don't be hating me for this. I know how y'all are. This is, dude, this is tough. So overall, which one do you choose? Overall, all three. practicality one? You've got $150 that you can spend on a Bluetooth speaker, and it has to be one of these three. Which one is it? I don't know if I hate myself for saying this, but I got to say the Wonder Boom. You pick the one room over both of these. Yeah, it's just a practice. Like, like I said, like I mentioned, it's the 360 right. sound. It's just the, the form factor. It's a small footprint. You can position it anywhere. You killed me, Wilson. <laughs> now I got to decide. I got to pick one. Out of the three, I know I always choose this Sony speaker over the JBL. So that just leaves these two. And this is hard. This is where I have to go make more money so I can buy the other speaker yeah. because I don't want to miss out on either thing because this one sounds fantastic. This one sounds great. This one sounds fantastic. But this form factor though, this form factor can be a deal breaker. Once you experience just imagine yourself, you know, getting set up, right? You got to position your speaker right, right? And then you move to the another side of the room and you're like, oh, let me move that speaker so I can hear it. No, man, you just set this joint down and you just, Give me the beat or free my soul. You know, you just jam from 360 degrees. Did you see how smooth that shit was? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look, you do whatever you want to do, Boo Boo. Me and Wilson, we just going to ride out. I'm going to jam the Sony and the Wonder Boom. He don't care. He just going to go Wonder Boom. Y'all keep being good to each other, and we'll see you when we see you.